What's up YouTube? It's Ray Bradbury 3 again. Uh, I wanted to do a quick tour of my garage gym and just kind of show you guys what I'm working with. Pretty proud of what we've, me and my buddy have collected here, so I'm going to show it off. I'll start at, uh, start at this end and work my way down. Alright, this is the arm wrestling table. Plain old arm wrestling table. This is like a mechanical arm for arm wrestling. Uh, it's really easy. It doesn't have much application to real arm wrestling. Um, and we got that set inside this pulley machine right here, so you can you can uh, do like pulley exercises and all that good stuff. It's pretty cool. Got the axle bar chilling right there. It's an Apollon axle by Iron Mind. You know the deal. You know the deal. Oh, I gotta show you guys this art, this new artwork I got. This is killer. Look at that. Got Jesus arm wrestling the devil. That's pretty motivational. Kind of reminds me of like uh, the book of Job where they gambled for Job's soul. Yeah. Got a uh, <laughs> giant forearm poster. So I'm trying to get more posters and motivational stuff in here. Mm, got a little ad with Dana Lynn Bailey. She's like the hottest female bodybuilder ever. Deal with it. Um, preacher curl. Preacher curl and the easy curl bar. It's pretty nice to have. Weight rack. Got a lot of weights over here. A lot of change on it. This is the, the hex dumbbells. Starts all the way at 10 pounds. Goes all the way to 75s. Then we got 100 pound hex dumbbell. Should probably get another one of those sometime. Um, this is the hex bar. Awesome for farmer's walks and what have you. Gotta have one of those. And the circus dumbbells. These are my favorite lift. In case you're new to my channel. This one's like one between 115 to 120. I just call it 120. I'm not sure how exactly how much it weighs, but probably about 115, 120, 117. That's the inch dumbbell. If you know what this is. Yeah, buddy. No one can lift this. Not around here anyways. But I'm working on it. Trying my hardest. Um, here's another circus dumbbell. This one's just cement. There's no iron inside. It only weighs about 100, 105 pounds, but uh, the handle's a little longer, about an inch longer, so it's quite unwieldy. It's pretty hard. Then we got this little axle over here. It's kind of for fun. You can just curl it or, you know, whatever. Do -do -do. Got the squat rack. It's where the legs get trained. You know the deal. Yep. Um, this is like where I keep all the chains that I, that I use for lifting. It's two toe chains. Got a bunch of random exercise plates down there. What have you. Ankle weights. Some random grip strength crap. Hammer curl bar. Weightlifting belts. Jump rope. Fat grips. If you can't afford an axle bar, these are a nice substitute. Good for training your grip. Got some random MMA crap that no one actually uses because we don't we don't train to fight. Fighting's bad. Violence is bad, guys. Um. Yep. Collars, rope, random shit. Um. Stereo system. Oh, don't trip. Uh, stereo system. Gotta have one of those. Get some tunes on, some Metallica, Limp Biscuit. Um, anything else? Yeah, I got a bunch of grippers, but they're not really out here. Um, yeah, we got a sit-up bench, and then under, underneath that is a, just a random exercise bench. They're kind of nice to have. Some weight plates. 
And I think that's about it for in here. I'm going to go outside really quick. I want to show you guys some other stuff, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're outside looking at the Atlas Stones. Um, this is the one I use the most. Uh, it's pretty light, but the thing you got to realize is that most Atlas Stones are made out of actual rocks. This is solid cement. And like the mass to weight ratio of cement is a lot different than rock. So it's pretty unwieldy. It's hard to use, but it's good training. This one doesn't really even get touched because like I was saying, the cement balls are just so much harder to lift. That's a huge rock. It's freaking massive. Um, that's like a baby a training one, you know. Um... This was a keg I got recently. I just painted it black. I'm ah, painted it black. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to fill it with sand so it can be used for lifting, strongman style, you know. Um, yeah, that's about it. I got a couple more machines, but they're not really noteworthy. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that, but. Uh, Yep, hope you guys found that interesting. Uh, that's my garage gym. It's pretty hardcore. Does the trick. Alright, uh, take it easy guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you guys have fun at your gyms. So, see ya.